Good morning, everybody. I'm Mart Wenzel. This is American Truck Simulator. I'm in Kingman, Arizona, and today I am hauling a 123,000 pound transformer to Bakersfield, California, to the train station there, or the freight yard there. This is a heavy cargo, and I think we might be able to get the 170,000 pound heavy haul achievement with this one. So let's see, we got driving a Kenworth. Nice little teal here. Let's get the engine going and hit the road. Last episode we were driving a Freightliner Argosy and now we're back into the stock trucks that come with American Truck Simulator. I can clearly see my mirror. And definitely can feel like I've got a little bit of a field of view actually in this truck compared to the Freightliner. So I was looking at the prices for the Freightliner. Um, I believe we can pick it up at the Peterbilt truck dealership and that would require us to just get a hundred thousand dollar loan and I think the base model is about ninety thousand dollars for the Freightliner Argosy. So I'm gonna be debating whether to get that or to hold out for a better truck because I like the Argosy but it is a little bit and here's an Argosy as we speak it's a little little claustrophobic I mean, it's very big, but the field of view is hard because it is so big that it makes it very hard on my, even on my widescreen, to see the mirror when I have my camera positioned looking forward. Here I can almost see both my mirrors. And it might be because I am further back in the seat right now with the camera set up the way it was in the Freightliner, in the Argosy. Got about 366 miles to go. Should arrive around noon. But likely it'll be about 2 o'clock with all the slowdowns. Possibly getting lost. And obviously taking a midday break along the way. Got a massive load here. Now we're gonna be able to make up the ramp. Get back in the first. Really gonna need all the gears on this job. 123,000 pounds, by far the biggest load I've ever driven in American Truck Simulator. I'm going to be curious once we hit California to see our weight when we stop at the way station. I'm using classes economy mod, hard economy mod. That's why I only have eight or $9,000 in the bank. And this job will pay us probably $200, $300. Also have Grimes's mild winter mod still in the mod folder. 
we don't have snow and ice, but we do have paler trees, the trees losing their leaves, and the early morning hours remain quite dark. All right, let's set the cruise control. I'll 72. We're entering California, so we need to slow down. Look at that trip economy, fuel economy, 2.7 miles per gallon. Actually, we can drop down to seven here. Seven low. Good on fuel. We got a slow bus pulled over. Engine trouble. Oh, there's my cruise control. Bus is moving over. I'm assuming this guy, this truck in front of us, is a slow moving truck. Probably a heavy load just like us. be careful here because we have some construction on this hill this truck ahead of us is probably gonna be slowing down along with us getting a lot of speed but we're gonna have to ease off probably go into a low gear here and we're gonna need some cooperation from the people behind us guy behind me is going to let me in. Come on over. Okay, this truck's not going to come over right away. Problem with these random events is that the AI has not figured out how to merge over in a timely manner. Like the police waiting until I was just on top of him before he pulled out. guy what are you doing I've got a massively heavy load and you're going slower than me kill my momentum
Now I'm kind of trapped in the wrong lane here. Don't want to be driving in the left lane, especially with a heavy load. But, looks like we'll get some speed here. This glass span is traveling pretty slow. And we're gonna have to get over to that way station. So, luckily we were able to get past. Otherwise we would have been hurting. Remember, things like missing the way station, or speeding, or even accidents are gonna hit us harder with this hard economy I'm out on. So this one I know we have to slow down really fast, otherwise we'll get a ticket. Which is kinda silly. But I have to drop down to 15 while I'm still on the freeway. But I don't want to risk getting a stupid speeding ticket in the way station. Alright, we're gonna roll up here and let's see how much we weigh. Hundred sixty four thousand pounds. So we will not get that heavy haul achievement. That's very surprising. I guess you need a fully kitted out truck and a really massive cargo because this is the biggest cargo I've ever hauled. So I guess you're gonna need something bigger than 123,000 pounds to get that achievement. see the ETA slowly crawling forward in time. Started out about 12.50 I think or 12.30 and now we're almost to 1.30. Every time we slow down or have to stop that's gonna push that ETA back quite a bit. So I think we're only gonna have to be able to do one job today. Last episode yesterday I said the same thing. The ETA was about 1 o'clock, and I thought, okay, maybe I can pick up another job right before, you know, at least get the trailer, drive a few miles, and then find a truck stop. But by the time we finally got the load put down, it was already 4 o'clock, so... You see that ETA, and you think, okay, might have time. But the times, it, it slips away really quick. It sneaks up on you. Getting a little fog out here. Hopefully it's fog and not a uh, smoke from a forest fire. My sister lives in the Los Angeles area and has been letting us know she's okay with all the forest fires, a big fire around there. It's a little eerie though with this uh, fog. Kind of looks like smoke or smog, really, but probably just some fog. 8:35 in the morning. Just about to Barstow, California, where we'll be. I believe we'll be hooking up with the uh, 15. I think. I believe the 40 ends in Barstow, and then we'll be on the 15, going south. And then we will get off at the California 58 and take that over to Bakersfield. And actually north of Bakersfield is our final destination, BNSF Rail.
So we're going to be going south on the 15. I believe we want to get over to the left lane, but I think we might. Yeah, I think we can stay. Whoa, 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 Pull in behind this JB Hunt trailer. Okay, car, can you move over the other lane? Because I can't see you, and the guy in front of you, is, he just keeps checking up. stuck here. Come on, you guys. Uh. Okay, JB Hunt. You could go. No? You kind of just got to take it in this game. You can't really merge in a friendly manner. Well, now there's something realistic right there. That guy pulled right out. He's like, I'm not waiting. Occasionally you get that with uh, some of these traffic mods. People just do silly stuff like that. Of course, same thing people do in real life, so it's actually pretty realistic. They're driving through Barstow, California. Pretty straightforward trip. We're gonna have to get off on the 58. Otherwise, we could take the 15 down all the way to 10 and then swing back up on the California 99. But that would really probably add two hours to our trip. 58's the really the only way across from Barstow to Bakersfield without having to cut down towards Los Angeles. No direct interstate route between here and the 99. But the California 58 is, is is usually, I think it's a uh, four-lane divided highway a lot of the way. Weather has cleared up. Nice and sunny, 10:18 in the morning slowing down coming into this town. I forget the name of this little town here. Really hope I don't get tickets. Really do not want to get set back. Well, it's going to go down to two lane highway. So we're going to be trying to pass this truck ahead of us at some point, I'm assuming. Which will be very difficult with our heavy load. So we're going to need a lot of patience. That ETA is probably going to be more about 2 o'clock at the earliest.
right, we're coming into Bakersfield. We're going to get a discoverable, I think, with the Peterbilt uh, dealership there. So I'm really thinking I might purchase uh, the Freightliner Argosy just so we can get a little bit more realistic, a little bit more realism in our jobs where I have to actually go pick up the trailer, drop off the trailer, drive to the next job. Find places to sleep all the time. Uh, I'm not gonna get the discoverable. That's kind of strange how you have to be right next to it to get the discoverable. Even though I can clearly see it. I suppose it doesn't matter. Once I buy the truck, it sends you back to wherever. I believe our garage is in Phoenix. So it would send us right back there to start our independent career. Debating whether I want to be independent or if I want to get a paint job. Make it look like I'm working for a certain company. At least starting out, then get some more experience before branching out on my own solo career. Oh, I got the little sunroof there. I do like this model truck. I believe this is the last one I used in my own personal profile where I drove about put about 70,000 miles on this truck using the hard economy mod. And like I said, the Freightliner Argosy might just be a stepping stone towards a bigger truck like this. We have lots of options out there, lots of different modded trucks you could buy. Volvos, Freightliners. So I'll be doing the research. Every once in a while I just go in and see, okay, how much money can I make from, you know, jobs as an independent contractor versus a quick job. Because again, independent contractor, you're going to be paying off a loan. You're gonna be paying the gas, so you wanna see, okay, are we gonna be making money or is it just gonna be a big hassle right now? All right, we're almost out of Bakersfield proper. Gonna be getting on the North California 99 on up to BNSF rail drop off this 123,000 pound transformer. And hopefully the game doesn't screw us here and make us do a back in or something. Should be a pull through. It is a heavy cargo, you can't really back these trailers up because it's an articulated trailer. And we got the little trailer with the sign on it. We got the trailer hooking to the truck and then another trailer actually carrying the transformer. All right, let's go guys. Yeah, see, I, we're probably gonna get there two o'clock, yeah, 2.30 at the rate we're going here. 40 miles to go, about an hour drive and stuck trying to get on the freeway.
definitely needed that extra power on the low, low gear to get off that hill on the ramp. I got some ranches, there's some horses. Headed up this highway. We're sort of in between Bakersfield and Fresno. Oh man. Ah, come on. Alright, what's what's the plan here? I can't back up, dude. Alright, somehow sometimes you just gotta do that. You gotta pop up the console and turn the traffic off because you just get in an impassable situation and I knew going into that turn it was not gonna be pretty because I got this huge trailer and the bus just comes whipping around that corner and then realizing he can't get through backs up and completely blocks my spot so blocks my path hopefully you have no more issues in the next five miles Actually got a turn right here. There you go, you saw the weather kind of get gloomy and then the then it suddenly got nice and clear again. That's still a problem with the I guess the underlying issue is something in American Truck Simulator itself and not with any of the graphics mods themselves. Alright, I believe. Just be sure. Nope, there. Well, of course, the gate's closed, so we can't go there anyway. Just making sure. Didn't want to pass it. BNSF Railway. And you can see the time is almost 3 o'clock, so that ETA just kept fading and fading and fading. It should be a pull through. No other way to get in here. Make sure we clear the corner. Swing it this way, give ourselves plenty of room to get in between these cones. Hey, yeah, you've seen the lighting just keeps uh, changing. get this straight enough. All right, we're in in between Bakersfield and Fresno. Not perfectly straight, but I'm not going to try to back it in and get it any more straight because it will get pretty silly. Lower the legs with our 123,000 pound transformer. And actually we did get the achievement. I thought this should be heavy. Three out of nine. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. But we did get the achievement. And we earned $314, 420 XP. So right now I'm looking, our loan would cost $200 a day. So we would have made $114 today if we were carrying a loan. But then you also have to remember gas will become an issue, so... And of course, we would also get paid more per mile as an independent contractor. Alright, so level 9 enthusiast. That will probably be it for today. It's 3 p.m. So I'm going to take a rest, and I will see you tomorrow morning, Tuesday, week 5. Until next time, I'm Martin Wenzel. Take care.